Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome back to the Dream Green Show. Over the last 109, the last 110 days, I've used the by far the easiest strategy there is inside of the stock market. And as you could tell by the title of this video, I invested $60 every single day into the company apple ticket symbol aapl that strategy is called dollar cost averaging and it's by far the easiest way to be successful inside of the stock market if you do it right i'm going to show you guys my results in this video so make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and if you stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you an additional little help, a little trick that you can use along with dollar cost averaging to help you make this strategy even better. Now to you guys that clicked on this video that's new to investing, dollar cost averaging is when you invest either every single day, every single week, every single month, no matter what, you set a time frame to say, hey, I'm gonna invest every single Monday inside the stock market, and you invest no matter what the price is, no matter how much you're investing, if you say, hey, I'm gonna invest $100 once on the first of every month, that's gonna be $1,200 throughout the year. You're spreading your money out across a time frame, right? So some months you're gonna be buying the highs, some months you're gonna be buying the lows. So instead of throwing in all of your money at one time, you could be buying the very top of the market, you could be buying the middle of the market, and you will basically have to get lucky if you're buying the low of the market. So there's a 50-50 chance that you win, 50-50 chance that you lose, or 50-50 chance that you make no money at all. But if you average those prices along the way, if you're buying some of the top, you're buying some of the bottom, me personally, in this video, I bought $60 every single day. So some days I was buying the low of Apple, some days I was buying the high of Apple, and this is over the last 110 days. So some days I was getting Apple at a really, really good deal. Some weeks I was getting Apple at a really, really good deal. And now that Apple is almost up to $200 per share right now, I am actually buying some of the highs. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what would have happened if I throw in all of my money um, 110 days ago, where would I be at versus me dollars cost averaging? So that average helps me be successful inside the stock market. So if you guys want to uh, follow me along this journey, I'm going to do updates. So let's say every three months of me investing inside Apple. So every 90 days I have an update. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on this amazing journey that I'm bringing you guys along. I'm going to show you how much money I made in this video and how you can do the same thing and another strategy towards the end of this video to help you guys be even more successful. So before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. Moo. Sign up with the link down in the description. They have an amazing offer this month. Um, if you click the link down in the description, um, they have a 5.1% APY cash sweep on your uninvested cash inside the portfolio. 5% is way better than most investors do inside the stock market. Most traders do inside the stock market. Most traders actually end up losing money, but you could gain money um, just from holding your uninvested cash inside of uh, their brokerage account. And also, if you deposit $100 inside Moomoo, Moo, you could get up to 16 free stocks. Do not miss out on that amazing opportunity. Also, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to Weeble. Sign up with Weeble. Deposit a penny if you want to. You can deposit any amount of money inside of Weeboo and you get up to 12 free stocks. With those 12 free stocks, you could keep them inside the portfolio and decide to use it. Or you can sell those 12 free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, do not miss out on this amazing opportunity. This is a way to help kickstart your investing journey. So enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers, here we are inside my account. Right now we're on Apple ticket symbol AAPL. It is at $197.42.40 at the recording of this video. And as you guys can see, Apple has just completely been killing it over the last three months. Uh, three months is around 90 days ago, they're up 13%. But year to date, Apple is up 51%. And so if you got in um, at the beginning of the year, you guys will be absolutely killing it. Now dollar cost averaging is not a strategy that you want to use on just any company out there you want to use it on proven um good blue chip style type companies or inside a very successful etf like voo or qqq in this case i use apple because they are a i want to say a multi-trillion dollar company right let's see because apple is a trillion dollar company and they've been proven over the last 20 years that their stock pretty much just only goes up does it put the do they have their pullbacks yes of course i'm hoping for their pullbacks because then we could go in and buy their stocks at a cheaper price but guys like i said if your dollar cost averaging 
Sometimes you're going to be buying the highs at 179 if you started um, three months ago. And sometimes you're going to be buying those dips. So when you're really gaining value inside of a good quality company, when they take dips like this, let's say you're investing $5 every single day, as I do in some of my other videos. If you're investing $5 every single day, you're buying $5 at the top, you're buying $5 at the low, you're buying $5 at the top, and you're buying $5 at the low again. So all Apple have to do is just go up just a little bit, maybe back to the, the entry price that you got in it, and you will already be in profit, while Apple to some other people that just doing all their money at one time would just have a break even, or consider it to be trading sideways but we will be in profit by dollar cost averaging and right now we're buying apple at a very it's having a breakout right now we're buying apple at a very expensive price so we're kind of hoping that apple pulls back a little bit so that we can get some more shares at a cheaper price so let's go ahead and show you guys my stats right now i'm at around 52 shares i did have a couple of shares of apple um, before i started investing 60 dollars every single day i'm gonna show you guys exactly that my market value is ten thousand four hundred and one dollars and i'm up 24 percent 24 percent but that as you guys can see right there let's go ahead and look at my reincurring investments right there apple daily buy um 60 dollars right so right now um my average price my dollar cost average price is 180 dollars and 91 cents apple current price is 197 dollars and 32 cents that means i am up nine percent over my average price my average price was 180 dollars i'm up nine percent over my average price and as you guys can see if we gotta look at some of my very first orders we're gonna hit view history we're gonna scroll all the way down to august um there we go click that and as you guys can see i was buying apple at 183 dollars so if i was doing all of my money at the very beginning of August, at the end of August, at $183, uh, my average price would be a lot higher than it is right now. So that is the benefit of dollar cost averaging. It lowers my average price as we buy the, the, the price of Apple as it goes down. And we scroll all the way back up to the top. All right, so now we're back at the very beginning. Right now it said, I'll invest $1,260 last month on $4,620 or 25 shares since my first order and on August 28, 2023. And in just one year, I'll invest $15,120. So that's how my reincurring investment is going. I know you guys are saying, hey, $60 is a lot of money, but hey, I worked my butt off and I actually um, sacrificed a lot to be able to invest $60 every single day. Um, so I really don't go out. I really don't party. I just, I work, I enjoy making videos and I have fun when I go on vacation, right? So I'm sacrificing a lot to be able to invest $60 every single day. But just remember when I first started investing, I was investing $1 a day, $2 a day, all the way until I got up to $5 every single day. That was a major goal on this channel a couple of years ago that I was investing $5 every single day. So there is a start. Don't be discouraged about what I'm investing. So the cool thing about this is that if we look at Apple, and as we're building our shares, I could go to dividends. And as you guys can see, I'm still making even more money the more I accumulate. So back, back in August, I was getting $5. Back in August, I was getting $6.52. Now I'm all the way up to $10.82.84 uh, in dividends alone. Okay, now that you guys know a little bit more about dollar cost averaging and you see that I'm in profit, if I would invest at that uh, 15,000 at the beginning of August 29th at $183 per share. I would not have as much money as I do now. So let's say back in August 29th, uh, I invested $1,000 at $183 per share. Um, that would be my average price, $183 per share. But now that I dollar cost average, I'm at $180 per share. Now, let me show you guys exactly why I started to invest so much into Apple um, with this trick. So if you stay to this end this video, I'm going hit the thumbs up button that means <laughs> i need more viewers like you so i'm going to give you guys a tip a trick on what i use to help me know when i need to start dollar cost averaging when i need to pull back or when i need to start to invest more so let's go ahead and pull that up right now welcome back dreamers here we are inside of my trading view account using the cheat code algo now this is the daily um chart so that means every bar on here represents one full day of the trading um, inside of the market for Apple ticker symbol AAPL. And as you guys can see way back here, you can see the date down here at the bottom. It says Thursday, 
uh, 12th, um, January 2023. So at the beginning of January, Apple just completely took off, just took off all the way at the top. And I thought I missed out on it, but this is the key of being patient inside the market because way back here, that would have been a perfect time to invest, but we took off, we missed Apple and you don't want to start buying at the all time highs. Apple was all the way up to around $198 and 20 cents. And you don't want to start really buying at the all time highs, because if you do come and do some technical analysis on the stocks that you're purchasing, because if you do come do some technical analysis on the stocks that you're about to buy before you start buying, you will know if you're overpaying or underpaying for stocks. And the game of the stock market is to buy low, sell high, not to buy high way up here and sell low. So guys, um, we thought we missed out on Apple, but here it started to pull back and we see a, a buying opportunity. Now we go to the four hour chart. So we was on the daily chart. Now we're on the four hour chart and it started to pull back. And as you guys can see, let's zoom in just a little bit. Apple start to pull back to a good buying zone. I was comfortable buying Apple in its own and the cheat code algo trading algorithm printed out a buy signal down here on thursday august 29th the same day that um, we started to dca i was like hey let me look at it a little bit more now it's time for me to start the dollar cost in on apple so we could start buying right here dollar cost averaging in on apple right here um we could have sold at the top when it said sell came back to the buy went up said sell came back to buy went up said sell went back to buy and then it just took all the way off and it's nearest all-time highs of around 199 dollars and 55 cents nearest all-time highs now the way that you can use this when your dollar cost averaging is you want to wait to apple pull back on the daily um over a long time sprain not just the the five minute trading chart no you want to look at the daily see if apple has pulled back to a pretty decent price now let's say if you're planning on invest twenty dollars every single day into apple you could invest twenty dollars every single day into apple right here and then once it starts to go all the way up you could drop it down to five dollars a day into apple so you're not spending a lot of your money when apple is near its all-time highs when it when it pulled back you can start investing twenty dollars again drop it down to five start to invest twenty dollars again every single day drop it down to five start to invest twenty dollars again let it run all the way up and then when Apple start, it start to say, hey, sell, the Chico algorithm start to say sell. You can say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and drop it back down. It's near its all time highs. The algorithm says sell. I'm going to drop it back down to $5 again until I see another amazing buying opportunity. So that way you're still investing inside the stock market, accumulating shares, but you're not really spending all of your money and you could be buying more shares when Apple do pull back. So uh, this algorithm has been nice over the last couple of days. Uh, I've been using it on the cheat code algo. I'm going to leave a link to them down in the comment section. Um, you click on that. I think they have a seven day free trial going on right there. You sign up. You could use um, this algorithm over on TradingView, a free account on TradingView. Um, you try the seven day free trial. If you like it, you can use it. Um, they got video tutorials over there on their website, uh, live trading sessions. So if you guys want to join that, that's going to be down in the pinned comment section. You click the cheat code algorithm, give the seven day free trial a run and see how you go from there. And you can find you different in other stocks um, or ETFs to start the dollar cost averaging. Or if you want to use this to day trade, if you want to use this to swing trade, you could do that as well. But I've been using it to see when it's a good time to start dollar cost averaging into the market, when to up my uh, money and when to drop my money just a little bit when it's near its all time high. So I've been using this, the Chico algorithm right here. So if you guys want to give that a try, it's very simple to use, very simple to set up. That free trial is going to be down in the pan comment section. And there we go, dreamers. Let me know down in the comment section. Do you use the dollar cost averaging strategy? If you have, um, I want to hear from people. I want to hear how much you're investing and how long you've been investing. I can't wait to read some of you guys' comments that's been investing for the last 10, 15, 20 years. That's been uh, dollar cost averaging for the last 20 years. I can't wait to see how your portfolio look and how successful you has been because strategy uh, statistics has showed that if you've been investing inside the stock market every single day, if you've been investing inside SPY, if you've been investing inside VOO for the last 30, 40 years, no matter what the price was, if you was buying the highs, or if you buying the lows, your average price, you, you will be <laughs> well in profit by now. You will have beat most investors inside the stock market just from dollar cost averaging inside those two ETFs. So even if you've just been doing it for 90 days, yes, anybody could be successful for 30 days. Anybody could be successful for 90 days. Anybody could be successful for the last 365 days. I, I wanna see your stories and what companies you're dollar cost averaging in because I wanna 
continue this video series of investing sixty dollars every single day. So I'm I planning on doing a, a every probably every ninety days. Every ninety days I do an update. So for you guys to say, hey, Apple shot up to two hundred and fifty dollars. I wonder how that guy that was investing every single day is doing. Let me go check out his video. Subscribe to the channel. Or hey, Apple dropped all the way down to eighty dollars per share. I wonder if he's still doing sixty dollars every single day. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on those videos. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comment section if you use this strategy. Uh, what companies are you doing it on how much and how long have you been doing it i can't wait to read your comments but other than that guys i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace